Hi, this is Jacob with RemoveVirus.org, and in this video we're going to show you how to do a system restore. Uh, the purpose of a system restore is to basically undo any damage done to the operating system, either from a virus, from a program installation. If all of a sudden you just one day you come on your computer and you just start having crashes or things are acting really, really weird, all you have to do is just restore it to an earlier time. And this solves so many problems, and it's a great way to undo a lot of damage, um, especially if the registry has been damaged and other, and other things like that. So all we're going to do, I'm doing this on a Windows 7 based computer. It's going to work the exact same on Vista and I'll show you how to do it on XP2 as well. It's, it, it, it's really, really simple. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and type restore. On here you're going to see system restore. Go ahead and click that. Now what you're going to get is something very similar to this then. It just describes what system restore is and the process of it. And um, the, just basic information there. We're going to go ahead and hit next. And from there we're going to be able to see the different restore points that we have on our computer. And generally they show you like the last five or ten here. You can also say show more restore points. And basically it will show you all the restore points that you currently have on your system and then you're just going to pick the restore point. Most times I recommend going back two dates. Now what this will not do is it will not destroy any personal data. So let's say you have pictures on there, or Word documents, Excel documents and the like. It's not going to remove any of that. However, if you installed any programs on your system, it's going to undo that. If you've installed any uh, registry changes, it's going to undo that. And if you've been infected with a virus, theoretically, it's going to undo that. Now will it undo the virus in every case? No, but in many cases it will. So we're just going to select the one we want, hit next, and then just go ahead and hit finish. And don't turn off your computer during this time. And it's basically going to back up your or restore your computer to that earlier time. Now on on XP, it's going to be very very similar to this. Where you're going to hit the Windows Start button, you're going to go to All Programs. If I can get there, Accessories. Oh, let me get off of this. See if we can't go to the accessories folder. System tools. Under system tools, you're going to see system restore. And it's right there. Now, obviously, the interface is a little bit different on XP, but uh, that's how you do it. So it, it, it's it's really, really easy. It's something that's highly recommended to a lot of people out there. It's one of the first lines of defense that you have to do, and this fixes a lot of computer issues. So, uh, you know, hey, if your wireless isn't working one day or just your system just keeps crashing on you or this program's crashing on you, system restore. It's the best. That's it. Take care.